Okay, blast off. 321 blast off. I just wanted to say that, guys. Anyway, 321 blast off. Here we go. Uh, another wonderful chess lecture brought to you by us guys at chess.com. All we do is sit around all day. As you know, we have we have this little guy locked in a room just like calculating variations and trying to figure out, "Oh, you know what? Like according to this algorithm, you know, this would be a good chess lecture for Danny to do, right?" Like that guy who writes all the fortune cookie things. You ever wondered about that? Like, how do they come up with that stuff? Like, some little dude, like, with chains around his ankles just writing fortune cookies? I mean, I hope he gets paid something. It's kind of unfair. But, uh, anyway, here we go. So, the majors. Well, this is actually, um, this entire video here is going to be about this position here. And, um, anybody wondering about multiple points here where we might convert into a rook ending or something, might be good to, to look at my uh, rook ending series here on chess.com. Uh, Unfortunately, I covered so much technical stuff there because I really wanted to improve your technical knowledge of rook endings. We didn't get into a lot of practical positions like this, just knowing some of the principles of, of how to deal with uh, rook versus rook, queen versus queen, and practical positions, things you've just converted from a game. Um, nice thing about this type of end game is white really doesn't have a lot of losing chances based on the fact that without miners on the board, the isolated queen pawn is just a sitting duck. I mean... You can put your pieces here and here, here and here, you know, double them any way you want, and probably Black just has to find some way to defend them that he doesn't lose the pawn. You know, very limited counterplay with just the Rook and the Queen. But with all that said, the disadvantage is that with Rooks and the Queens on the board, you know, anybody who's, you know, at least 1800 level or higher, or even below that, you guys have probably already had the experience of how many Rook endings lead to draws, right? Theoretical draws from the Philidor, you know, to frontal attack defenses, all different kinds of stuff. So... You know, just getting a pawn up in a rook ending is not always a guaranteed win. So what we're going to see here is, um, with that being said, I mean, what we're going to see is, you know, it's not like black is just crazy about giving up a pawn either, because, you know, a pawn is a pawn, and as long as the queen and rook are still on the board, then it's going to be much easier to convert. See, what's interesting about this position, I find a principle, I found a principle here when I was studying this and trying to develop it for you guys that I think is interesting, and that is that winning that d5 pawn, Okay, let me just make some move to get rid of the arrows. But win winning that d5 pawn does not just improve your winning chances because you're up a pawn. But what I noticed, like, a, a nice principle by going over a few games was that when that pawn disappears, the counterplay to the rest of the board becomes key. Because right now, black is actually in control of the only completely open file. Okay, all the other open files are semi-open files because there's a pawn there. And so I, I found it really interesting. This is something that I learned by doing this lecture was that by winning this ice of queen pawn and trying and keeping the queen on the rook on the board, like if I can make an effort to, to do that, to keep the pieces on the board but find a way to win that weak pawn, what's going to happen is I'm going to get access to the seventh rank, you know, to possible back rank ideas. Um, and, and therefore attacks against the king. And so winning that pawn is really key to my success because my rook is going to become an open. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.